Hello everyone, before we begin, I just want to say there are spoilers in this video. No main plot spoilers, but there are definitely spoilers, so this is your last chance. Now if you go to the Sphinx, and if you go to the bottom of it, you're going to be greeted with this map. And most likely, the first time you're here, you're trying, you're trying to figure out what's going on. What do you do? Well, there's nothing you can do. There's no buttons, nothing you can push. So I realize, I'm staring at the map, and I realize there's little rock formations on the map, and they actually are in the exact same spots on this little map as the Align the Stars mission. Now the Align the Stars mission requires you to go find these constellations, these rocks in con uh, constellation form. You interact with it, you match up the constellation, and that's it, and there's 12 of them. So I figured, well, what if I do all 12 of them and then go back to the Sphinx? What happens? So I'm going to do that. Now, I'm not going to show you the location of all 12 of these. I'll have that in a separate video. If you want to watch it, go ahead and do that. So we're going to go back to the Sphinx. Now, there is a really good reward for completing this, for doing this uh, final little mystery thing, solving it. I'm going to show that to you at the uh, towards the end of this video. Uh, there's also an audio file that we're going to listen to. I'm going to bail for that. I'm going to let you guys listen to it if you want to listen to it. Otherwise, listen to it on your own. So that's just a heads up on that. Now there's a tablet here if you want to read some lore. Now we're going to go into the Sphinx and make our way down. Now the reason I was going here is because I cleared the entire map and there was one question mark that was on the map and I couldn't figure out how to get to it. And that was killing me. That's the whole mystery of how to access that that secret area that's in the Sphinx. So I went off and did all the tombs. I did all of the Align the Stars constellation missions. And now I'm heading back inside of here. Now, nothing's going to kill you in here except for possibly claustrophobia. Now, there is a little open way up there above my head. You can't actually go up there. You can come down from there uh, in the map room. If you go into the room behind it, you can just climb up and around uh, to kind of just do a circle. There's nothing of value up that route, but it is there for you if you want to use it. So now, going through here, we're going to jump across. In this room, there's some treasure, so that's for you completionists out there. And then drop down. Now, it's going to get quite dark down here. And now I have no idea why I'm, why I'm crouching this entire route, but I am. And after watching this again, it's actually kind of killing me a little bit. Alright, so just straight ahead is where the map room is. Now if you were in here earlier, you may notice it looks way different now. There's a whole bunch of blue lights shining down, pointing down at the map. Each one of those blue lights is a constellation we uh, finished in the Align the Star side mission. So you got to do all 12 of those to activate 12 lights. So let's head up to the map. Before we uh, interact with this, let's go just take a, a little quick little run around Egypt here. And you can see those stone, uh, those little brown stones sticking up are in the exact spots on the map there as they are in the game for the constellations. So we're going to interact with this. Let's go take a look and see what happens. Something very mysterious is going on. Definitely not Egyptian. So we're going to head down here. Now if you've done all the tombs, and you'll have to have done all the tombs in order to finish this mystery here, as well as do the Align the Stars. But if you've done a couple of them, you've already kind of seen things like this, so this is kind of not going to be too new for you. We're going to find a little uh, pedestal that we have to interact with. All right, so let's go head up here. And finally, I'm going to be able to solve this final mystery. Unfortunately, it requires 50 silica to activate. Oh my god, that totally sucks. Uh, those are those little kind of gold fragments that you've seen in tombs. They're only and exclusively found in the tombs. 
So I need 50 of them. At this point in time, go to the inventory. I have 31. So I'm going to go revisit a few tombs. I know I missed some of those. So I'm going to use my investigation. Go find 50 of them. And here's uh, one right here. I replayed a tomb. Now I'm going to go head back to the Sphinx. And we're going to go up and interact with it. When you do, there's an audio file that plays. I am going to let you guys watch that on your own. So before I go, I just want to show you the reward you get once you interact with that. And it, it is this sweet-ass sexy armor right here. Very futuristic, definitely futuristic for 49 BC. So it lights up. It's really uh, it's just cosmetic. There's no actual... Uh, stats or anything that boots uh, outfits just are for cosmetic purposes only so let's go ahead let's interact with that final thing listen to the final transmission i'm gonna bail on you guys i'm gonna let you watch it on your own so thank you for watching please hit the like button i'd appreciate that and of course subscribe retransmission segment six acquiring contemporary It has been 109 days since the Great Catastrophe. The Messenger speaks. Wake up. Not from a dreamless sleep or an absence of light, but from a reality that will soon cease to be. Wake up. The next chapter is unstoppable. And yet, the greatest revolutions sometimes originate from the confines of impossibility, do they not? Change your mind, subvert your perception, stop this world, bend it into something new. Destiny is not without irony. Here I am, imploring a lesser version of myself to do what I could never do. In this timeless moment, you and I are a bridge, both of us from different eras meeting halfway at the narrowing of the hourglass in this ocean of sand. It is not enough to tell time. You must learn time. To work with your shaly Mrs. East, and in so doing, escape the inescapable. Fill in the blanks, the ones hiding between words, between worlds. Find the spaces that we could not erase, the variables that ended up erasing us. If you do not, they will erase you as well. Time told of a story that ended with us, and now it tells of a story that ends with you. Once upon a time, a new story will begin. After the functions which run our days have scattered into an array of random numbers. We found solace in order. We thought it would help us rule the world. We were wrong. Order never served us. It has kept us within the code, within the boundaries. We were tricked into thinking we were the ones writing the rules when they were in fact guiding us to our conclusion. You need to transgress. You of all people understand the value of disobeying. Take an unexpected turn away from the path that is drawn straight ahead of you. The Anus was humankind's first unconscious attempt to explain what it could not see. Understanding genetic memories, an eye into history. But the Anus bears a fatal flaw. It follows the rules from those who embrace order, just as we do. It allows you to witness, but not alter. Your animus is different, as is the mind that imagined it. It could escape the code. It could do that leap and make possible a decision that defies the order of things that are. Wake up. Be the chaos that comes to be. Gods are just like you and me. Remember. Nothing.
Nothing is real. Everything is permitted.